Howdy folks, welcome to another beautiful day out here in West Vancouver. Today I decided to do a little bit of a test and see who is more expensive, Loblaw, City Market or IGA. Now I've always believed that IGA was a little bit more expensive, but hey, let's do the math and check. So I set up a test. Firstly, I went to ChatGPT and I asked it to just work out a standard grocery list for for a family of four for about a one week time period now i don't know how good chat gpt is at groceries but hey it worked out kind of a list it gave me a list of stuff to buy eggs and milk and frozen veggies and a whole bunch of stuff so i took that list it's truly random so i had no influence over how it was worked out i took that list i drove down to loblaw city market i took photos of each of the products and just to give you a little bit more of an idea on how I did it, I actually tried to find the cheapest. So in other words, if there was a house product, I would take the price of the house product because it's very hard sometimes to really compare apples to apples. But I, I looked for the cheapest product because I assumed that the person that cares would be on a budget. So I went to uh, Loblaws and then I went to IGA. And I mean, it's actually freaking ridiculous the price difference but we'll go to the computer now and i'll show you there there's just a couple of caveats that i just wanted to make sure you guys understand so yes uh, the one thing that city market has is they've got a bunch of house products i did not think it's going to make that much of a difference but it did i also looked for house products at iga which has a little bit less of those but there are a few um I also have to say that the meat section at IGA, I went to the IGA in Dunderay Village. Um, you know, I've never liked their meat section. It's not beautiful and clean. Uh, the Loblaws has got a much better meat section. Um, what else is there? I think, it, I think I did a pretty fair test here. Oh, one thing I did was, you know, sometimes like at Loblaws, they would have two for, if you buy two for this price, you get it. And sometimes at um, IGA, well, at IGA, they don't have much of that. So what I did is I kind of just worked out the price per unit based off of that. And then also, you know, sometimes they didn't have the exact same uh, grammages or poundages. What would happen is you would have at Loblaws, they would sell a two kilo pack of frozen veg, but IGA doesn't have two kilo packs. They only have 750 gram packs. I assumed that I would want two kilos. So I just did the math and I worked out the per kilo price. And that's what I used to calculate this. And it is absolutely ridiculous. So this basket of groceries that I'm going to take you through shortly at Loblaw City Market would cost around $300, just over $300, $309, I think. But at IGA, that exact same basket of groceries would cost $403. So in other words, IGA is like 30% more expensive than Loblaws. That's a large number. I mean, that is a big percentage. It's actually really, really crazy. So if you are looking after your budget, it's probably not a good idea to shop at City Mark uh, at um, IGA. I mean, it's just absolutely nuts. But anyway, let me show you the list. Let me show you the products and we take it from there. Just before we go to the products, just let me know in the comments if you would like to see more of this. And another question that I have for you is, if you had an application on your phone, a grocery list application where you can put in all your groceries and it tells you the best place to go and buy those groceries to get it at the cheapest rate, would it be something that you would be interested in? Do you think you would use it? I mean, understand this. I've got my little list on my phone. I go, I need eggs, milk, blah, blah, blah. And it goes, dude, you've got to drive to uh, Loblaws to buy it or you've got to head on over to Safeway. For that basket of groceries today, that's going to be your best prices. Let me know what you think. Oh, and by the way, if you do watch this video, please subscribe. I can help. I can do with the subscribers if you haven't subscribed yet. So here we go. This is our grocery list that I've used. I will put a link to this in the description of the video if you want to go check it out. Um, we had in the fruit and veg section, we had bananas. I took three pounds of bananas. Um... We had apples. Instead of four apples, I just selected two pounds of apples, two pounds of oranges, two pounds of grapes, one pound of onions, two pounds of bell peppers. It was just easier to calculate it, calculate it with poundage because they are all marked and priced in pounds. 
Um, as you can see in the fruit and veg section, Loblaws is $63.43 for the basket and IGA is $77.05 for the basket. And the big differences there came in, if you look at it over here, um, this one, the grapes were significantly more expensive, although that could just be a little bit of a seasonal thing because I do know that IGA at, at um, City Market, the grapes used to be more expensive as well. The bell peppers were definitely significantly more expensive. What do we have here? And this one is the spinach, oh, the kale, definitely also much more expensive. And then the last thing that was significantly more expensive was the russet potatoes. So although it's more expensive across everything, it was also a little bit significantly more expensive across a few products. Next, we go to the dairy section. In the dairy, we just went for a gallon of milk. Now you can see 629 to 749 at IGA for the exact same milk and the exact same gallon make of milk, everything. Um, a brick of butter, this is the house butter at uh, Loblaws and the house butter at IGA. Um, cheese, cheese was significantly more expensive at IGA as well. It was the same price, $9.99 for a brick, but at uh, Loblaws the brick was 700 grams and at IGA it was 400 grams. Eggs, eggs was also significantly more expensive at IGA. And then yogurt as well. It's the same yogurt. So $26 towards $34. Meat and fish. This is where the big difference came in. And I think you can argue a little bit here, but let's work it out. So I went with three pounds of chicken. Sorry, these were priced in kilos because for some reason the pricing is in kilos on the meat and fish and not in pounds. But anyway, so um, 1.4 kilos of meat at uh, chicken at uh, Loblaws is $27. It's $30 at IGA. Two kilos of ground beef at Loblaws, $15. $15. So it's the same price as those two. The big difference comes in at the salmon. So the fresh salmon at, uh, at Loblaws was $39.66 for a kilo. And at IGA, it was $62.90 for a kilo. They did have frozen salmon for, I think, $45 a kilo. So, and you know, it, there could be a bit of a difference. Pork chops, $28 a kilo or $14 a kilo at um City Market and $19 a kilo at um, IGA. Then the pantry, uh, the breads and the pastas and stuff. Check it this, $63 at Loblaws, $78 at IGA. It's a, I mean, it's a big difference, isn't it? $3.99 for a loaf of bread, the exact same bread, $5.99 on the other side. Um, a pack of pasta, $1.99. This was a very big bargain, but $3.99 was the cheapest pasta at uh, IGA. The pasta sauce was actually a little bit cheaper at IGA. Um, rice was actually a little bit cheaper at IGA. Flour was a bit more expensive. Sugar was a lot more expensive. Cereal, uh, significantly more expensive. Yeah, it's just more expensive across the board. And then when you get to the frozen stuff, uh, $29 at Loblaws and $39 at IGA. Uh, mixed vegetables at Loblaws, it's $6.49 per kilo. At IGA, it is $11.44 per kilo. It's significant, eh? Um, and then a tub of ice cream, the exact same ice cream, $5.29 at Loblaws, $9.99 at IGA. And then lastly, uh, the beverages, $15.49 and $25.97. So a pack of fruit juice, which is just a normal, I just went on a 1.25 liter of orange juice, is $2.99 at Loblaws and $6.49 at IGA. Uh, 12 cans of Coke is $6.50 at Loblaws, $6.50, but um, yeah, it's actually $13 for two packs. $13 for two 12 packs. So $6.50 per 12 pack at IGA, it's $9.89. Um, and then of course the coffee is on a special at Loblaws, it's $6 for a bottle and at IGA it is $9.59.
Now, these prices obviously vary daily. I mean, it's like with groceries, it's always like that. When, hence, I asked the question whether you guys would be what you think of an application that monitors all the prices of all the groceries in all the stores in your area live at the same time and it alerts you when you want to go shopping at where is the place where you would get the best bang for your buck. I'm sure there must be something in that. There must be value there. Anyway, let's take it outside again. Okay, so there you have it. This is the grocery list. And as you can clearly see, it is a lot cheaper to shop at City Market Loblaws than it is at IGA. Cheers, guys. Have a good one.